Hey folks, Dustin here with Star City Savages, and I just wanted to give you my first impressions of the Fantasy Companion, and I just gotta tell you, I think that this, this is awesome. So, it's got a lot of new races, things like gnomes, golems, graveborn, goblins, you've got centaurs, minotaurs, it, it, it's so much in the way of new races that you can work with and that you can play with. In fact, for the first time ever, I think I'm able to port a, a character that I had in a different game, in a Pathfinder game, into a Savage Worlds game, and I'm really excited about that. You've got a lot of new edges, so what they pretty much did was they took character builds and made them into edges. Like if you were to take the vague sort of arcane background magic and you wanted to build an illusionist, you as the player would have to think, well how would I go about doing that? Well, simply put, what you would do is you would think of all the illusion based uh, powers and you would sort of compile them and you do that on your own as the player. What they did with the fantasy companion is they took unique powers and a sort of unique framework and they built it into uh, a front-loaded design so that you have it already and some of them like say the sorcerer or the warlock have uh, have unique abilities that are specific only to them so you as the player don't have to front load it and you as the GM don't have to argue back and forth what needs to be done to make this what you're picturing in your head. Some of the arcane backgrounds have their own special special edges like the Tinkerer which is you know it's your um, artificer. It's got uh, it's got its own arcane familiar and it's got its own like power suit. Yes as an edge you can get a Tinkerer's power suit and I think that's pretty awesome really. So I would recommend as soon as you can if you didn't back the game changer. I would recommend getting it on the PDF and when it becomes available I personally am gonna go ahead and drop what it takes to, to buy this because I I love this book and I'm not really a fantasy guy I'm more of a sci-fi and horror guy but I think that you've got a lot of things in the fantasy companion that you can port over to other games just because it's got fantasy written on it doesn't mean that it mechanically won't work in other settings and other genres. So definitely when you get a chance, go ahead and pick up the Fantasy Companion. Now, if you're a fan of this channel, go ahead, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And if you're a fan of the content that we here at Star City produce, if you want to see some of the games that we're making or read some of the novels, links are down below. If you want to check out our, uh, our main setting, The Drowned War, a flooded world post-apocalypse, go ahead and follow that link. If you want to check out some of our other uh, items, go ahead and follow the link to our drive through page. We've got a free product that we just put out recently, Wizards Duel, which pay whatever you want. And you know what? If you're a content creator, if you're into swag, you can use what you find on Wizards Duel in your own products. You can just take that framework and that idea behind it and go ahead and put it out there. We're just giving it to the community because we like you guys. If you are a fan of good sci-fi, post-apocalyptic, and cyberpunk fiction, click the link to Binary Abyss. If you've got Kindle Unlimited, you can read it for free. We made it available for Kindle Unlimited readers to just go ahead and read it. Leave us a rating. Tell us what you think. Hey, folks. Dustin with Star City Savages saying thank you for your time and uh, enjoy your day.